live chat questions. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm like, why won't it scroll? Okay, there we go. So, first question is, are you excited to be back on RHOA? Okay, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I must say, y'all, I had what a three year was a three year break, Lauren. Okay, it was a three year break. Andy definitely said break. <laughs> <laughs> he made it clear from our first phone call about me possibly leaving that girlfriend, it's going to be a break, like a uh, break. And then we're going to keep going. And, you know, I enjoyed my break. We've been together on Amazon live my entire break away from the show and in preparing my mind thinking, okay, we're really going back to housewives. I started thinking, and like normally before each season, I'm not going to lie. I'm like nervous. Well, maybe not nervous, but I don't know what's hap I don't know what's going to happen. So we always have like a production meeting, right? And they ask you, so what's your season about? Portia, what's going on in your life? And whatever you answer is nine times out of 10 going to be your storyline, which is basically the story of your life because they're following your life's journey, right? So this year I'm like, Yes, I'm gonna be coming back. Okay, yes, you know, Miss Cavadia, boop, 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 you know, all that. Okay. And then um, I was really like super excited, and then I got really scared real quick. And then now I'm telling y'all, I honestly feel so excited, and it's genuine, and I'm gonna tell you why. I really just want to we already talked about life is life and right. I mean, everybody has their own experiences. This is my experience. And I just want to be as genuine. I think my fans and my supporters have followed me because I'm very transparent. You know, it does not matter if it's amazing baby girl coming when I have Pilar. It doesn't matter if it's like a crazy breakup like in my past when I first joined the show. It doesn't matter as long as you are living your truth as long as you are being honest with people who you're talking to, you're living a true experience of life and you are going through whatever's going on. It's not like a brick wall, boom, and you got to be hiding anything. If you are living in your truth, I feel like that's something to be confident about. I feel like it's nothing to be ashamed about. And I'm just excited to share my life again as a woman. I think that my story was a little incomplete when I left. And I continue to share online and all that, but I'm just excited to mix with the new girls. Um, and I don't really know who they are. I know that's probably one of the questions, but I'm just hoping there's some grown A women. You know, I'm hoping there are some women who have a lot going on in their lives and we can bond, we can, you know, really have real relationships. So I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm excited to have new friends. Like, and I and I say that a little bit lightly because I could be your friend or we could be your enemy, whatever that may be. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really looking forward to what I used to miss about the show, which was that sisterhood. You know, if you up, we celebrate you. If you down, we're going to pull you up. You know, we're going to be there for you. And so I need a little bit of both of that. So <laughs> I, um, I'm excited for that. I'm truly, truly, genuinely excited. Um, next question is, how do you cope when you're going through hard times? Okay, so before I read this question, I think it was like a day ago or two days ago. And I was like, ah, I don't want that question. Don't ask me that. Like, no. But, you know, at the end of the day, the day go in. Right, Laura? They got in. They got in. And, you know, everyone goes through hardships. Everyone has things that they have to go through. Everybody has things and lessons they have to learn. You know, when you're on a journey and you're saying, I want to be better. I want to be an, a very honest person. I want to, whatever it is you're asking for, be prepared to get prepared for that. You may have to be that strong person. God, I want to be a super, super strong person. Well, you're going to have to go through something and it's going to prove to you how strong you are by how you handle that situation. And I feel like when you're going through hardships, the best thing to do is to remember that you are going to keep moving forward. 
you're going to keep moving forward and also allow people around you to speak life into you um use your lean on your gift of discernment and do not go venting to everyone don't allow everyone's input have a very small circle and most of all what i talked about the other day was get back closer with god because nine times out of 10, right before you got into whatever you got going on, or maybe while you had it going on, whether it was a good thing or was a bad thing, and it ended in something that ended up in a hardship, either way, if you think about it, was God really first in that situation? And if that's not the case, it's always time to do that. And he's always there for you. And he's always been there for me. He has carried me through so many things in my life. I can't like, I can truly testify. Do I still wish I had a, do I wish I didn't have to have so many testimonies? Maybe, but at the end of the day, the Lord is there for you, okay? And Jesus Christ, my Lord and savior is nothing but my, he is my strength, he is my everything. So no matter what you're going through, no matter how dark it seems, just remember, if you can't hear what you need to hear from your mom, if you can't get what you need to hear from your sister, your whomever, your best friend, your man, your husband, whomever you're trying to confide into all of the time, just stop, be still and pray literally and i promise you it will come into you what you need to do and maybe it ain't really like you need to do anything but sit still for a second sit your tail down okay and be still so anyway that's that's my little that's my little answer for that question that i didn't want to answer two days ago but you know with these lights and cameras in front of me i just got to be honest child that's what it is you know what i'm saying that's just what it is so next question is are you still good friends with Phaedra Parks? So it was so funny. Just earlier, I was talking about Phaedra Parks because we have the same makeup artist, Tommy. And I was just saying how similar we are. I was just thinking about like, we love the same makeup. We love like our hair to be the same. We're both from the South. You know, she's a Southern Belle. I feel like I'm sort of a Southern Belle. And yes, I definitely have texted her time to time. You know, she's very, very busy. You know, she's the traitor's queen, girlfriend. You've been killing it over there. Um, I would love for Phaedra to come and play with us on Housewives. I don't know how that can happen, but um, I would really love that. I really would. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm really busy. I have a lot going on in my life. She has a lot going on, but the friendship, some friendships, you don't got to talk to somebody every day. Like literally I talked to her the other day on the phone and you would have thought we talked the day before. You literally would think that. And that, those are the kind of friendships you need to cherish. You know, the type of people that you can call, you can catch up with and the whole first 30 minutes isn't about, hi, I haven't talked to you. You know, oh, you haven't answered my calls. You haven't called me, you haven't texted no let's just how you been girl like let's get into the kiki let's get into enjoying people relationships so yeah um all right so next oh we got okay we're down to the chat oh it wasn't too bad instagrammers <laughs> y'all know y'all can be h e double hockey sticks okay is it hockey sticks hockey sticks hockey sticks yeah hockey sticks like a, yeah, because it looks like a L, like a, okay. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like H-E, yeah. yeah, okay. We went off on a tangent on something, but anyway, y'all can be something else on Instagram. So those questions were fairly mild. Thank you. Pre appreciate you guys. Because <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, okay? Um, so let's get into the live chat. Layla, Layla. <laughs> 